10 Middle Class Habits That Keep People Stuck in the Rat Race The rat race refers to a relentless cycle of working long hours, striving for material possessions and feeling trapped in a never-ending pursuit of financial success. It is often associated with the middle class, who find themselves caught up in societal pressures and habits that prevent them from achieving true financial freedom and fulfillment. Number 1. Not Negotiating Salary and Benefits Many middle-class workers do not negotiate their salary and benefits, which can leave them underpaid and stuck in the rat race. Many individuals shy away from salary negotiations, which often leaves them underpaid and unable to break free from financial constraints. According to a 2021 survey by Glassdoor, only 39% of U.S. employees negotiated their salary in their current or most recent job. Let's say that someone is offered a job with a starting salary of $50,000 per year, but they negotiate and are able to increase their salary to $55,000 per year. Over the course of their career, this negotiation could result in a substantial difference in earnings. Assuming a typical career span of 30 years, the $5,000 annual increase translates to a cumulative $150,000 in additional earnings. Moreover, when factoring in potential salary increases, promotions, and retirement contributions, the impact of negotiation can extend well beyond the initial increase. Considering the power of compounding, the $5,000 annual increase could accumulate even further. If we assume a conservative average annual return of 7% on investments, the additional earnings from negotiation could result in over $500,000 in accumulated wealth over the course of one's career. Number 2. Not Pursuing Education or Skills Many middle-class workers do not pursue education or skills beyond what is required for their current job, which can limit their earning potential and keep them trapped in the rat race. According to a 2020 report by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, workers with a bachelor's degree earn 31% more on average than those with only a high school diploma. Let's say that someone works in a field where the average salary is $50,000 per year but requires a bachelor's degree for higher paying positions. If they were to go back to school and earn a bachelor's degree, they could potentially increase their salary to $65,500 per year, which is $15,500 differences per year or would result in an additional $503,000 in earnings over 30 years. If they put $15,500 per year in a low index fund with 7% of average return per year, they could have over $1,700,000 saved after 30 years. Number 3. Living in high cost areas. Many middle class people choose to live in high cost areas, such as major cities or affluent suburbs, which can be a drain on their finances. According to a 2021 report by Zillow, the median home value in the United States is $295,300. But in major cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York, the median home value is over $1 million. Let's say that a family with a combined income of $100,000 per year decides to buy a house in a high-cost area with a median home value of $1 million. If they put 20% down and finance the rest with a 30-year mortgage at 3.5% interest, their monthly mortgage payment would be $4,418, which is almost half of their monthly take-home pay. This could leave little room for saving, investing, or other expenses. Number 4. Prioritizing Status Symbols Many middle-class people prioritize status symbols, such as luxury cars, designer clothes, and expensive vacations, which can be a drain on their finances and keep them trapped in the rat race. According to a 2020 report by CNBC, the average American spends over $1,000 per month on non-essential items. Let's say that someone spends $500 per month on a luxury car lease. If they were to invest that money in a low-cost index fund that earns an average return of 7% per year, they could have over $255,000 saved after 20 years. Number 5. Social Comparison and Lifestyle Inflation Many middle-class people experience the phenomenon of social comparison and lifestyle inflation, where they compare their lifestyles and possessions to those of their peers and feel the need to match or exceed them. This can result in overspending and perpetuate the cycle of the rat race. According to a 2021 survey by Credit Karma, 7% of Americans have incurred debt in order to maintain a lifestyle on par with others. This pressure to keep up with the lifestyles of friends and neighbors can lead to financial strain and hinder long-term financial goals. 
For instance, let's consider a scenario where someone feels compelled to purchase a new smartphone worth $1,000 simply because their friends own it. However, if they resist this urge and instead invest that $1,000 in a low-cost index fund with an average annual return of 7%, they could accumulate over $20,000 in savings after 20 years. Number 6. Relying on credit cards. Many middle-class people rely on credit cards to cover their expenses, which can lead to high interest debt and financial stress. According to a 2021 survey by CreditCards.com, 41% of credit card holders have carried a balance for more than a year. Let's say that someone has $10,000 in credit card debt with an interest rate of 18%. If they make the minimum payment of 2% per month, it will take them over 28 years to pay off the debt and they will end up paying over $26,000 in interest. If they were to increase their payments to $300 per month, they could pay off the debt in three years and save over $21,000 in interest. Number 7. Neglecting Retirement Savings Many middle-class families neglect their retirement savings, which can leave them vulnerable to financial stress and keep them trapped in the rat race. According to a 2021 survey by the Transamerica Center for Retirement Studies, 68% of Americans are worried about their retirement savings. Let's say someone starts retirement savings at age 35 and contributes $200 per month to a 401k account with 7% average annual return. If they continue to save at that rate until age 65, they could have over $400,000 saved for retirement. However, if they wait until age 45 to start saving, they would only have around $150,000 saved, even if they save at the same rate. Number 8. Not investing for the future. Many middle-class families do not invest for the future, which can keep them trapped in the rat race and prevent them from building wealth. According to a 2021 survey by Bankrate, only 21% of Americans say they have increased their retirement contributions since the pandemic began. Let's say that someone starts investing $200 per month in a low-cost index fund that earns an average return of 7% per year. After 20 years, they could have over $100,000 saved, even if they do not increase their contributions. Number 9. Relying on one source of income. Many middle-class families rely on one source of income, such as a job or a business, which can leave them vulnerable to financial stress and keep them trapped in the rat race. According to a 2021 survey by Bankrate, only 33% of Americans say they have a side job or extra income stream. Let's say that someone starts a side business that earns an additional $500 per month. If they invest that money in a low-cost index fund that earns an average return of 7% per year, they could have over $85,000 saved after 20 years. Number 10. Not living below their means. Many middle-class families do not live below their means, which can lead to overspending and keeping them trapped in the rat race. According to a 2021 survey by Bankrate, 24% of Americans say they are not able to save any money each month. Let's say that someone spends $200 per month on eating out. If they were to cut that expense in half and invest the $100 per month in a low-cost index fund that earns an average return of 7% per year, they could have over $40,000 saved after 20 years. If you like this type of video, let us know by smashing the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching Successium.